So here's a quick review of the Amazon Basics Single Monitor Stand. This is the aluminum version that sells for 3,499 rupees on Amazon.in. There is a cheaper arm that they sell on the website for 1,999 rupees, but that one is a bit more basic, but more on this later. So inside the box, you will find the manual first and then all the components of the monitor stand wrapped in plastic and the tools and screws and grommets you need to put this together. The labeling system is done well and by following the instructions in the manual, you can be up and running in less than an hour. The VESA mount in the box can attach to both 75 by 75 mm and 100 by 100 mm hole monitors and uses rubber grommets to go beneath the mount and easy thumb screws to tighten. Now the items appear to be of good quality and are strong enough to hold monitors up to 9.9 .9 kilos in weight. The cheaper arm is also said to hold a similar amount of weight but some components are not as strong in that variant. Parts of the clamping system are smaller and can affix to desks that are of less thickness than this aluminum variant. Apart from this, the main difference is the reach of the arm. Since this version includes two long arms, the number of positions possible even with larger desks is quite a lot more. Internationally, Amazon sells another variant of this arm that sells for around $100 that also has a pivoting mechanism in the final arm that allows height adjustment without the need for tools. But this is not that variant and you need to bear this in mind when watching any reviews about the international version. That means if you want to raise or lower the height of your monitor with this version of the stand, you will need to loosen the screws with the provided Allen key. There is also a dual monitor version of the stand that sells for 6,400 rupees and is a good choice for those running permanent two monitor setups. But for those that plan to add a second monitor somewhere in the future, it may work out better and more flexible to add another arm instead, especially if you don't want the two monitors to be set flush with each other. Now currently I don't have a fancy desk or monitor. In fact, the monitor I am using is a 12 year old Samsung monitor that still works brilliantly. The few good things about testing this arm with this monitor are the fact that it is heavy and tests the strength of this arm and also it features a 1920 by 1200 resolution which means its more squarish shape makes it taller than even some 32 inch monitors giving you some indication of how bigger monitors will fare with this arm. The range of movements possible with the arm are more than enough and you will find a position comfortable for you depending on your requirements. The base of the stand is bigger than the basic variant which means it takes up a little more space on the desk but consequently it's a lot more stable and sure-footed when handling bigger and heavier monitors. After having installed it on the arm, I can see very little scope of going any lower on the arm because when stretched out, the base of this monitor is quite close to the desk. In fact, in the position that I have mounted it in, it cannot rotate to 90 degrees without hitting the desk. To do that, I would need to increase its height, but that would mean tilting it downward when facing it and viewing it head on. The stand does offer cable management and both the arms allow you to tuck in the wires inside them. And there are clips provided at the back to route the wires down and out of sight. At least one cable of mine was not long enough at 3 feet and I had to plug it in directly to the HDMI port on my USB-C hub. You need to remember to leave a little slack in the cables at the back of the monitor to allow for movement to various positions on the desk. So, longer cables are a must with this stand. You can adjust the tension with which the arms move around and sometimes I prefer to move the stand using the arms instead of holding the monitor. It's good that rubber grommets are provided between the VESA mount and the plastic backside of the monitor. This area sure sees some amount of stress when you move the monitor around. Overall, it's a satisfying product, but I miss two things. One, the smaller footprint of the more basic variant and height adjustment through movement of the arms itself without the use of tools, such as in the international version. If you can overlook these two points, this is the best option for heavier and larger monitors and with larger desks below the 5000 rupees price point. Thanks for watching and if you like this content, 
please consider subscribing to this channel to view my future uploads.